So today we'll start on our backs and bend your knees. Take your feet about hips width apart or so and just start to settle into your breath. Breathing in and out through your nose and soften the shoulders, soften the jaw. And anything that you have already accomplished today, anything you've already done, anything you need to do after you finish yoga, I'll just invite you to visualize a box and I'll invite you to just set all of those things in that box for the next 45 minutes or so. They're going to be there when you finish your practice. They'll be ready for you. But for now, we'll just set them aside and focus instead on our breath. So again, inhaling, exhaling through your nose. A little slight constriction in the back of your throat. Or ujjayi pranayama. And if you're not sure how to do it, just take an inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth like you're fogging a mirror. <sighs> Halfway through, close your mouth. And that'll give you that little, that little restriction in the back of the throat. And try and keep your inhales and your exhales equal in length. If you like, I'll invite you to set an intention for your practice today. Just a way for you to make your practice more personalized to you. All intentions are always welcome. Whatever you would like to, to focus on today. And take an inhale as you exhale. Let's draw the knees into the chest. Rocking a little side to side. And we'll start with a little abdominal work. So lift the legs up. If your knees won't straighten, no worries. Keep them bent. There's a little curve in the low back, a little natural curve. We just don't want to overemphasize it, so lightly press it into the floor. If your back hurts in these movements, put your hands underneath your hips. Pull the belly in. As you exhale, take your legs oh, about a quarter or a third of the way to the floor. Inhale, bring them back up. Exhale again, take them down just a third of the way or so. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, and take them back down. Hold a moment. Belly in. Inhale, bring them back up. And exhale, take them down again. Pull the belly in as you breathe. And exhale, take them down about another third or about halfway down to the floor. Inhale, legs back up. Exhale, same thing. Take them down about a quarter of the way. Inhale here. Exhale, take them down about another quarter. So about halfway down. Pull the belly in, but keep breathing. Inhale, legs up. And once again, exhale, take them down about a quarter or a third of the way down. Inhale, exhale, another quarter or another third. Depends on how far you're comfortable going. Inhale, bring them back up. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. And now back to legs up. Inhale, this time cradle your head in your hands. Exhale, bring your right leg down almost to the floor. Just let it hover maybe a foot. Inhale, head and shoulders up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left leg down, breath in. And exhale, elbow toward right knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, right leg down. Take your elbow towards your left knee. Inhale, through center. Exhale, twisting to your right. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Keep the belly pulled in. Inhale through center. Exhale, twisting. Inhale back up. And exhale to the left. Try to keep the head and shoulders up. Inhale. Exhale, twisting right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Back to center. Exhale right, lift the leg, exhale right leg down, twist left, inhale, exhale to the right, back to center, and release, hug the knees in. One more for the abdominals here. Take the soles of your feet together, knees apart. As you inhale, you lift up, point your toes to the ceiling, and then curl your tailbone up. Exhale, lower almost to the floor. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, hover. Inhale, lift. Curling the tailbone straight up, so toes point up to the ceiling, not toward the wall behind you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, just a little curl of the tailbone. Exhale, lower. It's a little movement. Lift up. Doesn't have to be high to be effective. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, lift, lift. And lower down, release. Hug the knees in. So warming up our abdominal muscles a little bit. 
Walk your feet as wide as your mat. Now take your knees over to the left and look to the right. A little stretch for the belly, stretch for the spine. Taking a couple of breaths and then through center. As you exhale, knees to the left, look right. And then we'll come back through center, taking the knees up. And then walk your feet in a little bit, hips width apart, setting up for bridge. Knees right, or heels under the knees. Inhale, lift into a gentle bridge. Exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. And again, keep the belly lifted. Inhale, lifting up, rolling up. Exhale, rolling down. Couple more. Inhale, lift up. This time, spiral the thighs in toward each other. Keep lengthening through the low back. Exhale to lower down. We'll add the arms. So as you inhale, lift up. Reach the arms overhead. Face your palms toward each other. Pinkies face the ceiling. Exhale, lower down. Bring the arms with you as you lower a vertebra at a time. Same thing. Inhale, lifting up, stretching out. Keep the chin away from the chest. Exhale, lower back down slowly. Once again, inhale, lifting up, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, keep up, or lower down slowly. Keep the arms down by your sides. Now, bring your right ankle just above your left knee and lift into bridge again. Drop your right knee down. This is a little bit of a hip opening as you lift up. You can always support the low back with your hands. Breathing here. And now extend your right leg straight out in front of you so your knees are in line with each other. Keep pressing into the left heel, lifting away from the floor and lower it down. Staying up, taking your left ankle just above the right knee. Keep lifting, drop your left knee down a little, flex the left foot. Keep pressing into the floor with the arms and the heel and lift away from that. And now we'll extend the left leg out and your knees in line with each other as you reach it out. Keep the chin away from the chest. Keep lifting, lift, lift, lift. And we'll release the left foot back to the floor and roll down. Hug your knees in. Let's rock a little side to side. And then roll up to Rolling back and forth, we're going to roll all the way to standing. So take a couple rolls, get some momentum, come to the feet, and fold forward. If you need to use your hands to come up, use your hands. And feet are about hips width apart. Grab your opposite elbows and rock side to side. Just let your body sway. Keep a little bend in the knees if that's good for now, or if your legs are straight, then firm the quadricep muscles. And hanging down, take a little bend in the knees and come up with a nice flat back and reach all the way up. Feet are still hips width apart. Right hand down, right arm down, shift the hips to the left and lean to the right. So stretch out through the left side of your body. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left arm down and stretch to the left, shifting hips to the right. Inhale, bring it all back to center, and exhale, feet together, or if you like hips with stay with that, and fold forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, make a flat back, look up. Exhale, and we'll step back, plank pose. Take the knees down to the floor, and line up your wrists underneath your shoulders. Inhale, right leg straight back, lift it from the inner thigh, let the outer hip drop down, keep the belly lifted, reach your left arm forward, stretch out. Pull your ribs in as well. Stretching out, we're going to roll over to the left side after you take the left hand down. So bring your left foot to the outside of the mat. Reach up through the right arm, stack the hips on top of each other. Either stay with this and stretch out, keep stretching, or you're welcome to bend your right knee and reach back for the outside of the foot, the pinky toe side, as you press the foot back, opening through the shoulders. The little back bend, so keep your belly lifted to protect the back. Come back to center, tuck the toes under on the right leg, bring your left knee in toward your chest. Exhale, plank. Inhale, come back to plank. Exhale, left knee and round the back a little. Inhale to plank. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, plank. And holding a moment, lift the belly, heart forward, heels back, lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale for a little cobra. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, tailbone toward the heels. 
exhale, lower down. Clasp your hands behind you, press all your toes down, even a little pinky toes. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the legs for Shalabhasana. Squeezing the shoulder blades gently in toward each other and widening the collarbones. Look just forward to the mat and then lower down to release. Slide the hands next to your rib cage, press up into table. Left leg straight back, lift it from the inner thigh, let the outer hip drop down and reach the right arm forward. Pulling in the ribs and the belly, stretch out, lengthen, lengthen. And then from here, we're gonna come on to the side. So take your right foot over to the outside of the mat and reach up your left hip stacked on the right hip. Shoulders are in line. You can stay right here, stretching through your top leg or bend the left knee and reach for the pinky toe side of your foot and press it back. So as you press it back, you get a little shoulder opening, a little back bend. Keep your belly lifted, protect your back. Release it, come back down with the hand, tuck your back toes of the left foot, bring the right knee into the chest. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, plank. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, plank pose. Lower to the floor. Exhale. Clasp your hands behind you with the other pinky on top. Inhale and lifting back to Shalabhasana. Again, spin the inner thighs up toward the ceiling. Pull your belly in. Extend your tailbone toward your heels. Lengthen through your neck. Breathe in into the chest and release. Ah. <sighs> Bring your hands by your ribcage. Inhale into up dog if you're ready for it. Exhale back to down dog. Anytime you want to take cobra instead of up dog is always your choice. Inhale coming to plank. Exhale rounding the upper back, chin toward chest. Inhale regular plank. Exhale still plank but round the upper back. Inhale back to regular plank. Exhale, round the back, chin toward chest. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, rounding chin toward chest. Inhale, regular plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, roll the shoulder heads back, up, down, or cobra. Up, dog, or cobra, pardon me. Exhale, down, dog. Inhale, float your right leg back and up. As you exhale, I'm going to bring the knee in all the way right foot toward the right hand and lift up into low lunge, sinking the hips forward. Make sure the knee is over your ankle. Lift your belly and stretch up through all four sides of your waist. As you reach through the arms, soften the shoulder blades. Take your arms to a T now. Bring your left arm forward and stretch back through your right arm, widening the collarbones in this little twist. It looks a lot easier than it is. This one's a little bit challenging. Keep your belly pulling in and up. Keep your rib cage drawn in. Look down at the floor and come back, plank pose, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, open the chest, exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg back and up on the inhale. As you exhale, so hips are level here. As you exhale, you're going to bend the knee. Bring it forward by the left hand, take your right knee down. If you need padding underneath your right knee, put a blanket there or fold the side of your mat over. Reach up into low lunge, sinking the hips. Draw the tailbone down, lift the belly up. Make sure your knee and ankle stay in line. Arms to a T. And bring your right arm forward. This time reach your left arm toward the back of, or the wall behind you. Stretch out through the arms. Keep sinking your hips, lifting your belly for this little twist. Inhale, arms up, exhale, hands to the mat, and take a vinyasa. Inhaling into up dog, exhaling, come back to downward facing dog. When you move through chaturanga, make sure your shoulders don't go any lower than your elbows, and you can take the knees down any time during chaturanga. Stretch back and lengthen, look up, Bend the knees, step or jump feet to hands, inhale to flat back, exhale and fold. Inhale, root down, rise up, and exhale, bring your hands to heart. Inhale again, circle the arms up, exhale, shift your hips to the left and lean to the right. You can take your feet a little bit wider than together, like hips width or so. Shift the hips to the right, lean to the left, arms and ears in line with each other. Inhale back to center, exhale, 
Inhale, till the feet together or keep them hips width and fold. Inhale, make a flat back, look up. Exhale, step or float back, chaturanga. Notice when I jump back, I land in chaturanga with bent elbows. That's to keep my elbows safe. Another chaturanga, a little extra double dipping and then to down dog. So jumping to chaturanga keeps both my elbow joints safe and my low back. If I were to jump back to plank, those would be at risk. Look to the hands, inhale, step or jump forward. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press to the feet, rising up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale again, circle the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up, lengthen the spine. And exhale, step in or floating back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, float the right leg up. And this time, we'll exhale, bend the knee and open up the hip. A nice external rotation of the thigh opens the hip. Press evenly through the arms and shoulders. Inhale, now bring it back to center. Exhale, step the right foot up. Spin your back heel flat and come into warrior two. Make sure your front heel is in line with your back arch and the knees over the ankle. Reach out through the arms, lift the belly. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, bend the front knee, side stretch. Inhale, back up. And we'll straighten the front leg for triangle pose. You can walk the back foot in to shorten the stance if you like. Shift your hips back, lean out and then down. Get nice and long. Line up your shoulders with each other. Look up at your top hand. If it bothers the neck, look down. Reaching your left arm forward in line with the ear. As you exhale, take your left hand behind your back. Either resting it there at the low back or reach around for the thigh. Roll the top shoulder open. Widen your collarbones. Gently squeezing shoulder blade toward each other. Look down at the floor and we'll take a vinyasa. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, back to down dog. Feel free to skip any vinyasas you like. Inhale, left leg back and up. We'll open up the hips, so bend the knee, take it across and open towards, so you take the foot toward the right side of the mat. Press evenly through the arms and shoulders. Take the leg back and we will square off the hips. And step it all the way up for warrior two. Make sure you line up heel to arch. Reach out through the arms. On your inhale, reach out, lift the belly, and exhale, we'll take a reverse warrior side stretch. Inhale to come up, straighten the leg. For triangle, shift the hips back, reach out and down, left hand to the shin or foot or floor, reach up through the right arm, line up your shoulders, lean your torso right over your front thigh. Inhale, reaching the top arm in line with the ear, exhale, take the right arm behind your back, roll the shoulder open. So you want to lean the torso over the thigh and then press weight into the base of the big toe of the left foot, your front foot in triangle pose. Rolling the shoulder open, look down at the foot, vinyasa. Inhale, roll the shoulder heads back. Exhale, down dog, stretching back and lengthening. Anytime you want a break, you can hit the pause button. You can take a child's pose for as long as you like. Inhale, right leg up again. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. You can stay right with this or flipping the dog. Take the right foot to the floor off the side of the mat reaching through your top arm, stretch it out. Look down at the floor, bring the right hand back down, lifting the leg up and step it through for warrior two. Or sorry, step it through, walk your hands to the left for Prasarita Padodhanasana. Whoops, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold forward. Wide leg forward fold. If your elbows bend, line up your wrists right under the elbows. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, coming back to center. Turn your toes out, your heels in, bending your knees in line with your second toes for goddess pose. We're going to rock a little here side to side. So opening the knees, dropping the tailbone down, and just rock. So rocking side to side helps to open up the hips a little bit. And then take your arms to a T. Makes a little more stress on the leg, so your quadricep muscles get some work here. 
Now we're going to fold forward, keep a nice flat back. Again, quads are engaging. Still side to side. And then pause at the right. And over to the left, take a little pause. Inhale to the right. And begin to come back up. Pause in the middle. Reach up through the arms. Again, drop the tailbone down. Lift your belly up. Press your knees open. Straighten your legs. Turn your right leg out and windmill the arms down. Vinyasa. And again, skip the vinyasa if you want a little break. Go right into down dog. On the inhale, float the left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee. Open the hip. Stay with this or again, flip your dog. Take your left foot to the floor and reach out through your top arm. Reach it forward and stretch out. Lengthen the tailbone toward the backs of your knees. Inhale, looking back to center. Keep the left leg up. Exhale, bring it through between the hands. Walk your hands to the right. Set up for wide leg forward fold. This time, hands on hips. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, fold in for prostrate Padottanasana B. So crown of the head's reaching toward the floor. Doesn't have to touch, but shift your hips right over the heels. With the hands on hips, try to bring your elbows toward each other, squeezing the shoulder blades gently in toward each other. Firming the legs. Inhale up with a flat back. And then from here, toes out, heels in. Drop the tailbone down and rocking side to side. Again, pressing the knees open a little bit, trying to keep your knees in line with second toes. Side to side rocking. Leaning forward just a bit, take the arms to a T. Keeps the quadricep muscles a little more active. And now we're going to lean forward a little more to a flat back. And lean to the right, pause. Lean to the left, pause. Back to the right. And back to the left. Actually, this is the right. Either way, go back and forth. And start to come back. And up through center. So we'll come all the way back up, rocking side to side as we do, and then pause in the middle, reach up through the arms, drop the tailbone down, lift the belly up. Oh, nice. Straighten the legs, left leg turns out, windmill the arms down, vinyasa. Inhaling into cobra or upward dog, exhaling downward facing dog. So look up and stretch back. Then we're going to look to the hands and I step or hop through to seat it. So step or hop and sit. And then grab a block. If you don't have a block, get a pillow. So we're going to start with the block in between the thighs, the skinniest way. So if you have a pillow, make it the skinniest way. Squeezing the block between the thighs. <clears throat> Lift your head and shoulders up off the floor and bring your knees in toward your nose. Round your back. Reach your fingertips forward. Pull your belly in and squeeze the block like crazy or the pillow. Keep squeezing the legs toward each other, pulling the belly in and rounding the back. Release. Take the block out. Turn it on its side so it's a little wider or take the pillow. Make it a little wider. Squeeze. Lift up. Reach your fingertips toward the front. If your neck gets tired, cradle your head in your hands. Bring your knees in toward your nose, round the back, and again, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your block. And take one more breath. Release. Take the block out, take the pillow out, make it wider. So turn the block to its widest level, take the pillow out, make it nice and wide. And squeezing, again, lift up. Make yourself into a little ball cradling the head in the hands. We're setting up for crow pose, bakasana. It's just like this. You'll squeeze instead of the block. You'll squeeze your arms in a moment. Your back will be rounded. It's the same thing, except we'll be the other way. So we're going to roll back up to seated. We'll take a little vinyasa to stretch out the belly. Step or float back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look to the hands. So our first arm balance, step or hop the feet, 
So if you have a blanket or a pillow, bring it to the front of your mat. This will just give you a little insurance in case you do happen to fall forward. You have a nice soft landing. So take your hands underneath the pillow or, or blanket, <clears throat> bend your knees, take your knees just above your elbows. Now you're gonna squeeze your arms just like you were squeezing the block, except this time you're squeezing the arms. Lean forward, forward, maybe pick up the feet one at a time or both round the back, pull the belly in, pressing away from the floor. Release that. So you can do the same thing again. Or if you do have a block, step up on your block, or if you have something else you can use, step up a little bit higher. So you make a little perch for yourself, and then you come coming down. So since you're a little bit higher, you have a less of a way to go to lean forward and come into Bakasana Crow or Crane, sometimes called Crane. You can lift one foot up at a time or both if you're balanced here. And squeezing the knees toward each other. Pressing away from the floor, a little rounding of the upper back, and we'll lower down. Same thing again, one of those two that we worked on, or taking the full pose. Bring the knees up toward the armpits. Round the upper back, squeeze your knees like crazy. Lean forward, pick up one or both feet at a time. If you're up, try to take your feet together. Bring your heels up toward your buns. Either stay here, step back, or you could jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra pose. Exhale, down dog. If you're jumping to chaturanga, I just gotta tell you, you have to commit to it. So you shoot the legs back, land with bent elbows. On your next inhale, right leg back and up. Exhale, bring it forward. Bring your hands to the inside of the foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, come to the forearms. Or you can stay up on the hands or grab that block and put your forearms right on top of it. Lengthen your spine, bring your heart forward. And you can take your bottom knee or your back knee down to the floor if you want to rest a little bit. Our next arm balance is coming up. It's called Ekapada Kundinyasana, sometimes called scissors pose. That's a little tricky. Bring your right hand to your right calf and bring your right shoulder underneath your leg like you're putting on a backpack. Then walk your right foot off the mat over to the right. Bring your left hand back toward the back of the mat a little. Bend your elbows like chaturanga. Lean forward. You can slide your left elbow underneath your left hip bone. Lean forward and step or flow back. Chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So. If you didn't get that, don't worry, we're gonna do it again on the left side. It took me a while to get this one, so don't feel discouraged at all. Left foot forward, take your left hand on the inside of the foot so both hands are in front and the inside. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, either stay on the hands or forearms on a block or forearms on the floor. And again, if you wanna rest a little bit here, take your back knee to the floor. It's a little more restful. Bringing the heart forward. So again, in a moment, coming back to the Ekapada Kundinyasana scissors pose. I do a little cheater way by bringing my elbow underneath my hip bone because I think it's a little easier to learn it that way. Sliding your left shoulder underneath your left knee like a backpack. Walk your left foot off the mat to the left. Slide your right arm back. Then bend your elbow so you can rest. Make a little shelf and rest your hip bone on the elbow. Lean forward, lift the legs. And then from here, swing it back, step or float back to chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back. It does not matter if you did not get into that pose. Take a child's pose, rest a moment. If you didn't get into the pose, the only thing that matters is that you tried. Because when you're trying, your mind is quiet because it's focused right on that. You're not thinking about what you did earlier. You're not thinking about what you're going to do later, which is wonderful for yoga. Come forward into a baby cobra. Exhale, back into downward facing dog. Inhale and plank pose, moving again through a vinyasa, upward facing dog, pause a moment, roll the shoulders back, downward facing dog, and float the right leg up, inhale, exhale, bring it through by the right hand, coming into high lunge. I love to add a twist into the sequence, so here's a nice twist. Hands to heart, center, bring your left elbow across and twist. If you're wobbly, walk your right foot to the right or take your left knee to the floor. Press the palms in toward the center of the chest. If you wanna go deeper, scoot your left armpit across, take your left hand to the floor, reach the right arm up. Or if you have a block, you can put your left hand on the block. 
Twisting is so good. Look down at the floor and step back, vinyasa, or again, skip it, go right into down dog. So today's practice is really moving. Anytime you need a break, push the pause button, take a break. Inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale and bring it through. Stay on the ball of the back foot, coming up, high lunge. Drop the tailbone down, hands to heart, add your twist. Take your right elbow across again. If you're wobbly, move your left foot to the left. Take the right knee to the floor, whatever you need to do to twist. Staying with that twist or right hand to the pinky toe side of your foot, left arm up. Keep pulling the left hip back, keeping your hips as level as you can because we want the twist to come from above the waist. Looking down to the floor and take your vinyasa. Inhaling up, exhaling back. So we're gonna come through again to seated for some back bends. Look to the hands, step or jump, coming through to sit. And then, so using your belly muscles, roll yourself back. If you have any trouble with your low back, don't do that. Just bend the knees and lie back. Bend your knees, feet hips width apart. Outer edges of feet parallel for bridge. Press into the heels, lift up. This time, if you'd like, roll your shoulders under, clasp your hands. If that doesn't feel good, keep your palms flat. Spiral the thighs in, firm outer hips, but don't clench your buns. Reach to tailbone long. Lower down, rest. And bring a hand on your belly, a hand on your heart. Take the soles of the feet together. Let your knees just drop open to rest. Second one, arms by your sides for bridge, or if you want to come all the way up, hands by ears. Make sure your elbows stay parallel. Pause at the crown of the head. Line up wrists and elbows. Elbows parallel before you press up. Now, there's a tendency for the feet to turn out. Try to keep the outer edges of your feet parallel. Spiral the thighs in toward each other like you're holding a block between your inner thighs. To come out, chin toward chest and lower. Rest. Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of feet together, knees apart. You can feel that nice energy that's created with your back bend. Your heart really starts to pump a little bit moving the energy, moving the prana through the body. One more, and take another bridge pose or another full wheel. Arms by the ears if you're going all the way up, keep your elbows parallel, and pressing bridge or up to Urdhva Dhanurasana. Lift up, lengthen your tailbone towards the backs of your knees, squeeze an imaginary block between the legs, or if you have one, you could always use it. Lengthen out, get really long here. And as you're ready, if you're all the way up, remember first chin to chest and then lower down. Hug the knees in, rock side to side. Give your low back a nice little massage. So we're gonna take a shoulder stand today. Now, if you have any, so we're gonna rock forward and back, forward and back, come up to seated. Now for the shoulder stand, if you have any problems with your back, I don't want you to take the shoulder stand, but first, before we do that, we're gonna do a forward fold. Sit up nice and tall. If you're not sitting up real tall, you can sit on the edge of a blanket. Take your right ankle just above your left knee, or you can take your right heel to the navel, take it across for half lotus. Inhale, lengthen, exhale to fold. My right hand's either behind the back holding the shirt or reaching for the toe. This pose is called Ardha Baddha Padma Paschimottanasana. So it's half bound forward fold. Inhale, head up, exhale, release it. It's a nice hip opener as well as a forward fold. Other side, left ankle above the right knee or taking it into half lotus. Left hand behind you. Reach your right hand for the foot. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, come forward. If you're trying the half lotus, if it hurts your ankle, if it hurts your knee, don't do it. Just don't. You don't need to hurt anything. No pain, no pain. Don't need any pain. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, release. And now for the shoulder stand. So I have a blanket. I'm going to take it to the top of my mat, the neat edge at the end of the mat. That just gives my uh, neck a little more support. So my head's on the wood, my shoulders are on the blanket. 
if you have high blood pressure, glaucoma, ladies vacation, then don't go all the way up. You stay right here with your hips on the floor and your legs up toward the ceiling. If you're gonna go all the way up, take your feet first toward the floor behind you. It doesn't matter if they touch. If they do touch, roll your shoulders under. Hands to your back and lift up one leg at a time. Shoulder standing. Press into the elbows and the forearms as you lift shoulder blades up into the back, reach up through the toes and lengthen. Keep your chin away from your chest and it's very important, don't turn your head from side to side. Gotta keep the neck safe. If you have any discomfort in your neck or your back, just roll down. Again, any pose causes you pain, come out of it. To come out of this, we're coming to Halasana, first plow pose. Keep lifting through the spine, lengthening and firming the legs. This pose, I've been told, is good for boosting metabolism by stimulating the thyroid. And you can stay there or bend your knees. Take them down around the, your ears and squeeze or knees to forehead. This is called Karnapindasana. It means ear pressure pose. Rolling out very slowly. Again, any discomfort in the back and you will bend your knees and take your feet to the floor. Otherwise, use those nice belly muscles we worked on today to come down with control. I like my hands under the hips. Then I'm all set up for Matsyasana. Come up onto the elbows and reach the crown of your head back. Matsyasana pose, it's fish pose. It's our counter pose after we take a shoulder stand. Let's release that. Hug the knees into the chest. Roll yourself up. And we'll move the blanket off to the side. Then come down and hug your knees in. Take your arms to a T. Take your knees off to the left and look over your right shoulder. Twist. Oh, I love this twist. You can also cross your right knee on top of the left. Makes the twist deeper or not. You don't have to cross. And then going back to center. Shift the hips to the left a little. Take the knees off to the right. And again, if you want a deeper twist, cross your left knee on top of your right knee. Twisting is really nice after a shoulder stand. Also after back bend, it just helps to get the spine back into alignment and feel really nice. And then coming back through center, give your knees a nice hug. Lengthen your tailbone toward the floor. I took my blanket today and rolled it up to put it under my knees. It feels really nice, I think. So if you have a blanket, feel free to give it a try. Lengthen your tailbone down toward the backs of your heels and draw your shoulder blades down away from your ears. Let your arms out by the side slightly and let your feet flop open. And now just relax. No more focus on the breath. No more focus on the body. You can just let yourself melt into the floor. And let's be here for a couple minutes in Shavasana. While you're lying here, our quote today is actually a little poem. It's called Mother Teresa's Anyway Poem. I like this one. People are often unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. 
If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight, but build anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. But give the world the best you've got anyway. Because you see, in the final analysis, it is between you and your God, or whatever you like to call it. It was never between you and them anyway. Take a slightly deeper breath. And as you release it, start to make some movements in your fingers and your toes and your hands and your feet. Take your arms overhead, stretch out. Look a nice good morning stretch. And then bend your knees. Take your feet onto the floor. Or if you have a blanket there, you can put your feet on the blanket. Roll yourself to the right. Carefully, after you've paused a moment, I always like to pause here for a moment. You'll press your left hand into the floor to make your way up to a comfortable seated position. As you're sitting here, just take a moment, sitting nice and tall. Take a moment to honor and respect yourself for taking your practice, keeping your body healthy, your mind healthy, flexible in body and mind. your hands to the forehead reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts hands to the heart center to remind us to have clear and loving intentions and the hands to the mouth reminding us to have clear and loving communications namaste thank you for your practice today